Hello, welcome to Build the Tours channel. Now a new adventure in deep Ecuador, in deep, in the depth of the province of Azuay. We are in Canton El Pan. Canton in Ecuador is similar to what the county is in the United States, for example. And this is the rural area of the province. We are in a very special event today, which is the Pauca Raimi. Pauca Raimi is one of the four festivities of the Andean people or the Andean originary people who were here prior to the arrival of the Spaniards, the Cañaris and the Incas. The Incas came here from Peru, but here there were already people who were the Cañaris, who inhabited mainly the, what today is Cuenca and Cañar north of Cuenca. This festivity is also is called in Spanish the festivity of the blossom or festivity of flowering, because the originary people here used to thank God and the land, the earth, for the fruits, because we have in this season the first fruits. That's why it is the festivity of flowering, the festivity of blossom. After a bus ride of one hour and a half, 40 miles, departing from Cuenca, we got to the town of El Pan, which is in the Andes, but almost at the wall where the descent to the Amazon region starts. El Pan is a small town with less than 4,000 inhabitants. On this occasion, the local municipality and the government of Azuay organized the Pauca Raimi here to promote the beauties of this area, which many people don't know, even though it is not too far from Cuenca. I am today in Canton El Pan, in one hill that is called Turi, T-U-R-Y. This was a sacred hill, and today we are going to watch the ceremony of Pauca Raimi in an event that is promoted by local people and the government of the province or the government of the state of Azuay because there are many people fighting to strengthen these traditions, to recover the traditions, because they started to be forgotten, mainly because of religion and mainly because of new technologies. You know how things are in the world. This was a program of two days with a free bus ride from Cuenca back and forth for each of the days. They also organized a fair with products of local entrepreneurs. On the first day there were shows with Ecuadorian music. On the second day, the 21st of March, the main event in the program was the ceremony of Bauca Raimi. My tour operator, Build Up Tours, is a company that is looking to support these projects as well, the community and cultural tourism projects. I want Ecuadorians to know more about the traditions of Ecuador because, for example, I live in Cuenca, in the city. Most people, I could easily say 85, 80% of people don't know about this. They don't know what Pauca Raimi is and what it is about. And I also fight for promoting these traditions because we have here a rich culture. Now, if you want to know more about Ecuador, about the traditions, about the places, about the different regions, please like this video, comment and subscribe. If you have any idea, any comment, any suggestion, please leave it below. And if you would like uh, to know about a tour in Ecuador, you may write an email to info at buildeptours.com.
Remember, the Cañaris and the Incas, they didn't watch live as a calendar that we know, year one, year 2020, year 2021. They actually used to watch live as circles. Every year we complete a circle. They didn't have telescopes, but they knew about the seasons. We are celebrating today, 21st of March, the change not to spring. It's actually the festivity of the blossom or the flowering, as I told you. But they knew that because of the position of the sun, depending on the year, they were in a different season. And they created their own agricultural calendar. And every year there was a new period. It was not exactly as we see it. They didn't watch life as a lineal plane. It was all circles. Not like we went back to the beginning, but we enter a new circle, a new cycle, and that's every year and every year. So every year we are getting a new opportunity and we are completing another cycle today. So let's see the ceremony of Pauka Raimi, which will be directed by a wise man, uh, Iachak in Quechua, like a master, a sage, who will run the ceremony today. Nos sentimos muy alegres porque están volviendo a revalorizar los conocimientos y los saberes de nuestros ancestros, de nuestros taitas cañaris, de nuestros taitas incas. El Pau Caraymi estaba invisibilizado, estaba oculto, ya que con el sincretismo nos trataron de confundir. Pero ahora, en este nuevo tiempo, en este tiempo de luz, en este tiempo de armonía, en este nuevo tiempo del buen vivir, a mí me alegra mucho porque estamos volviendo a renacer. Entonces hay un sentido para decir que en verdad el día de hoy inicia el año nuevo andino. Ayer era el año viejo andino. ¿no? Un poquito nos diferenciamos con el, con el calendario gregoriano, pero nuestros saberes podemos constatar. Podemos sentir, pero del corazón. Entonces ese es el motivo que las autoridades han escogido este lugar sagrado, este lugar maravilloso en donde está concentrada esa energía buena. <tose> Estamos llamando a la divina energía, al gran espíritu, a Dios Pachacama, 
que venga a nuestro corazón y desde allí renueve nuestra energía, nuestra mentalidad, que aclare nuestra mente y nuestro corazón se abra a nuevos espacios. Vamos a dar gracias al Taitaín. Y los que están aquí al frente van a dar espalda y vamos a recibir esa energía de todos esos pesitos. Desde el lugar por donde nace todos los días, son donde sale el Taita Inti. Vamos a hacer una conexión, yo no sé el nombre, pero de esos perritos que están al frente. Y vamos a hacer una conexión con el espacio celeste, con el Hatun Pachacama, le decimos en Quicho, Dios creador y dador de la vida. Hagamos una conexión con la energía del Padre Sol, hagamos una conexión con la energía de la Madre Luna, de las estrellas. Toda esa energía, toda esa luz, vamos a traer también a nuestros corazones, traigamos a nuestros corazones y vamos a sanarnos. Así agradecemos a la Madre, a nuestra Madre, a nuestra Sagrada Madre, la Madre que nos dio nacer y la Madre que nos acogerá en una nueva dimensión para seguir fortaleciendo a las bellas dimensiones que siguen por atrás. Esta es la madre que nos abrió el espacio, un espacio de luz, un espacio de vida. Ella no ve buenos ni malos, no ve los espinos, no ve los animales salvajes, no ve nada. A todos da la luz del día, a todos da de comer, a todos da a sus ojos esas bellas flores, ese hermoso paisaje, a todos da cariño. Y por eso estamos llamados a quererla tanto, a cuidarla tanto de tanta contaminación. Tenemos que unirnos fuerzas, a corazonarlos a nuestros hermanos que mueren, que dan vida, sangre, eh, que dan niños huérfanos a causa de esto, por defender el pan de todos, por defender los derechos de la tierra, por defender nuestros derechos. Yo creo que todos, hombres y mujeres, debemos unirnos, como dicen nuestros mayores, a un solo corazón, porque todos necesitamos defender nuestros derechos, defender a la madre tierra. This is the festivity of the blossom, and now we are getting the fruits that the land gave us. This is also part of the ceremony. We thank and we share for the fruits of the land. As this is a festivity, of course, we have party, we have dancing. Now comes the dancing. This is the first Pauka Raimi after the pandemic or the lockdown, so this is like a double celebration here.
remember, Canton El Pan, province of Azuay. And of course, if you would like more info about this place or these types of destinations in Ecuador, you may write me or you may leave a comment. If there is a place you would like to know about, you may also write in the comments. Hope you have liked this video, that you have liked this experience. I really liked it. It's the first time I had in Pauca Raimi. I have been to Inter Raimi. And about Pauca Raimi, I have only read or have only watched videos. But it's a very special tradition when you're here. And remember, this matches with the change of seasons. In Ecuador, we don't actually have seasons, but the Cañaris and the Incas knew about this. And that's why they had these four festivities, these four celebrations in the change of seasons because they knew the movement of the sun and they had their own calendar. When you're here and you're in the middle of the change of one season, you could join one of these festivities. If you want to know more, you may like this video, comment and subscribe. See you in the next adventure. Bye bye.